we are reading Daisy Heights The Long Way Home. I've been waiting for this book so freaking long. Before I continue, make sure to subscribe button. I would love to have you here for book content, fashion content, all the fun stuff. So yeah, we're gonna be reading this book. I ended up, so I technically already finished the book, so I'm filming this clip after I already finished it. But I'm so excited to read this book with you guys and yeah, just stick around to see my reactions to the book. I give you guys a lot of live reactions to the very end of the book and you'll see that it's definitely an emotional roller coaster. Happy reading. If you want, go ahead and pick up this book and read it while you're watching this video because it's gonna be a quick note about the series. This is the fourth book in the Magnolia Parks Universe series. I think she said there's gonna be like seven books, so this is number four, meaning we might get three more books. I feel like I need like ten books of this series if I'm totally honest. Like addicted to you who this is way better. I'm sorry, I know that's a popular opinion, but I like this series way better than addicted. So if you don't know Magnolia Parks universe series is kind of like the high elite people of london so it's kind of gossip girl set in london so if you like gossip girl i think you're really gonna love this series like i said this is the fourth book and this is what we're gonna be reading in this a good bangs day by any means and the leaf blowers are here so there's a lot of background noise pretty much this is the worst time for me to choose to film this but we're still gonna do it because you guys really deserve an update on this book let me put some glasses on this little like yellow ones and because they're like cleaning up the leaves and stuff my hair is kind of a mess so daisy high is a great undoing this is the fourth book in the magnolia parks universe book if you don't know the magnolia parks universe series this is what this video is kind of about i have done a reading blog for pretty much every single book of the series besides the great um the la the long way home magnolia parks because i was just kind of going to that one kind of slow so it took me kind of a long time i really really apologize for the background noise can't do anything about that this book follows Daisy Heights again, which the second book follows Daisy Heights as well. We've been waiting for this for a very long time. There was this whole delay with the book not getting shipped correctly or I think Amazon was holding it. Anyways, it was just like a big, big mess. And we finally got this book. I've been reading it. I'm currently on page 178. This is a spoilers free reading vlog. A terrible reading vlog, so like you won't be getting a lot of like updates on the spot because like i just don't know how to do that but i will show you guys the cover it is one of the most beautiful book covers i've ever seen this is the bag so so far we're getting daisy heights christian hems and julian heights point of view which we did in the first daisy heights book i am team christian all the way but i gotta say taylor has really surprised me in this book like a lot I think Jess is really good at like making like every single male character besides BJ Valentine and I'm starting to think that it's almost like intentional like she doesn't want us to like that guy that's what I think because honestly he's the most unlikable male character in every book even in the books where he's not the main character I still really when he makes an appearance I'm like no I'm done but I'm really, really enjoying this. So yeah, we'll just read a few pages before I head to work. And then I'll update you guys when I'm a little bit deeper. I'm in page 170. <laughs> I just have to say that Magnolia is so clueless to how freaking spoiled she is. Like she's criticizing this one girl for being entitled and spoiled and stuff like that. And those are like qualities that I feel describe Magnolia so well because she's all of those things. So she's just like really naive to how she actually is. Yeah. I'm team Daisy and Christian. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, I need to give you an update because this is like my kind of my bathroom not really i'm currently on page 274 meaning that i read like over 100 pages since the last time i gave you an update and it's only been a few hours because i went to work read a little bit during my break there uh, i read this book pretty fast then 
I came back home. Fridays are half days for me, so I do take a nap in the afternoon. And oh my god, so much has happened. Just deleted the intro for this video, so I'm gonna have to refilm it tomorrow. But so much has happened, so I guess say I love Julian. And I'm afraid that I was gonna be like liking like a mafia dude as much as Christian, because he's like more of a mafia guy than Christian is. But I freaking love his character, and I'm honestly really for going to end up with him and not BJ because they are so good together I love Daisy and Christian too but Magnolia and Julianne might be one of my new favorite couples and that's all I'm gonna say without spoiling anything for you guys reactions to their ending because i don't know i just feel like a big plug this is coming i'm currently on page 418 i think i only have like 10 or 10 more pages to go i'm scared because the long way home in all your parks and that on sofa cliffhanger such a cliffhanger that i just don't think i'm ready for, for in this book because i just love these characters so so much <laughs> tried my best to get some of my reactions to what was going on I really don't want to spoil anything for you guys but I'm just gonna say Christian and Daisy cannot catch a break and it ended on a cliffhanger I'm still undecided if I love or hate the fact that all of her books end on a cliffhanger because we're not getting the next book until probably like the summertime and I need the next book like right away I'm kind of debating if I should just like wait to read the last few books together but I don't think I can. This book was amazing. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I will be recommending this book to everyone. It might be my second favorite of the series so far. I really like the first one, which is Magnolia Parks. The first AC, the first AC Heights book wasn't like super... It didn't really make an impression on me. And I was a little skeptical about this one. Because I wasn't a huge fan of Daisy in the first book. But now I'm obsessed. I love Christian. He might be one of my favorites. But unpopular opinion. I don't know if this is unpopular or popular or not at this point. Especially after this book. I am obsessed with Julian Hates. He might be my favorite guy in this series so far. And now I'm concerned about his future in general. Because I mean he is like a, a gang lord. Like a mafia dude. So... Like, I have a theory that he might, I don't know, I feel like he's not going to have a happy ending when the series is over. And that's going to really bother me because I'm, like, really attached to his character right now. But you need to read this. Like, it's already available on Amazon to purchase. I purchased it as soon as it became live. I'm obsessed with this book. It was so beautifully written. Like, I feel like Jessa doesn't get enough credit for how well she writes his books. The dialogue, everything is just like amazing. I laughed, I almost cried. It was just quite the journey. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. You need to get this. I don't think I'm gonna be saying anything else. I really hope this video was 10 minutes long if I'm totally honest. I don't think it was, but yeah. I'm about to go and film the first clip of this video because like I said I deleted it by accident. So if you see me wearing the exact same situation, that's why. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. I'm going to also be linking the other three reading vlogs that I have for this series in case you want to kind of read along because I did do a reading vlog for every single one of the books besides The Long Way Home in Parks. Parks. I technically included some of it in one of my reading vlogs so there is like a reading vlog aspect for that book but I didn't do like a whole video dedicated to the book so I'm gonna end the video, end to end the video right here but go pick up this book and i'll see you guys in the next video make sure to subscribe we have a lot of really fun videos coming this year and yeah i'm really excited this was the first video of 2023 so happy 2023 everybody